So in adjusting the right stop of the PGP or any Hunter rotary sprinkler, it might be necessary to access a little bit lower on the sprinkler than you normally would. For instance, the top body cap area. So I've gone ahead and cut a little circle of grass out right here, and I'm gonna remove that to expose the lower portions of the sprinkler and the body cap to make the adjustments a little bit easier. Let's start with identifying some of the parts here on top of the sprinkler. The first part I wanna point out is the raised rubber arrow and that lines up with the nozzle, which is where the water comes out of the sprinkler. That's the point which would be adjusting either to the right or to the left. The center piece here is used with the plastic end of the key, and that's to simply lift up the sprinkler up out of the, out of the inner body. The other adjustment here is the plus or minus adjustment. Now that only works with the plastic key to adjust the left stop. The left stop is where the sprinkler stops out on the left-hand side before returning. The right stop is where the sprinkler stops at when it comes around to the right hand side. So once again, the left stop is only adjustable with the key, but the right stop, I've got a couple of ways for you to do it. So let's start out by putting the rotor key inside the slot, turning it a quarter turn, and raising up the inner assembly. Now we know the water in the nozzle is right here, and we're going to start by going towards the left we'll see it stops a little bit short of where we want to be. Now that's fine, we can adjust that here with the plus and minus. But when we spin the turret back, we notice that the right stop is well short of the 180 where we want to be. So we can spin to the left, there's our left stop, and to the right is our right stop. So what we'll do is first, to make the right stop go farther to the right, let's try and turn the entire sprinkler tighter onto the lower inner assembly. Now you can see I've got my right arrow lined up on the right hand side, but our left stop is still well short of where we want it to be. But at least the right arrow is lined up where we want it. So I'll take my key, pop it in the slot, and I'll go in the positive direction. And you'll see now we're going farther to the left. Go a little bit more in the positive. And I've gone too far that time, as you can see. So I'll come back and go a little bit minus, and spin it to the right, and to the left, and that's where we want to be. So that's one way to adjust the sprinkler. So in the prior example, we were able to adjust the right stop simply by tightening the entire head onto the lower plumbing to where the right arrow, that right stop, lined up where we wanted it to. But in the case, if you tighten the entire head and it does not want to move any farther, like you'll see here, this right stop is stopping at about here and it's well short. The left stop is okay, but the right stop is stopping short of the 180. So in this instance, when you cannot tighten the entire sprinkler over to your right stop, what we'll do is loosen the entire top outer cap and pull the inner assembly out. Now at that point in time, what we're going to do is make sure that the rotor has spun all the way to the right stop until it stops. Now we know that turret is all the way to the right. Now at that point in time, we can take the entire inner assembly and hover over the inner assembly, or over the body cap, excuse me, and we're going to drop the inner assembly so that the arrow is lined up on the right stop right where we want it. Now at that moment, we can screw down the body cap, and you'll notice our right stop stayed in place. We'll take our key, raise it up, and our left stop's incorrect, but the right stop's good to go. So now we can go out, use the key, and adjust towards the plus direction, which is the left stop, a little bit back on the minus, and we should be just about right. There's our right stop, and there's our left stop. Keep in mind, these adjustment methods are utilized across the entire Hunter Rotor line. 